this is kind of important to understand why people are throwing like okay this is uh, Jonathan is throwing like 100 meters this is Thomas I'm throwing 130 meters mm -hmm. on a good day why is that mm -hmm. because I mean you're a fit guy you're younger Thank than you. me and, and so on so uh, this is you Jonathan now he's gonna take his disc and throw it standstill in 50 kilometers an hour this direction. Could be 50 miles an hour, doesn't matter doesn't really matter. for yeah. this experiment. Okay. So now we take uh, Jonathan and put him on a car trailer. It's and me. the trailer, you know, is, is behind a car. We don't have yeah. a car here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the trailer is moving in 50 kilometers an hour. I'm a bit of a daredevil. But you're still throwing standstill 50 kilometers an hour. So how fast will the disc travel compared to the Earth now when the trailer is moving 50 and you're throwing it 50 kilometers an hour? <laughs> the it's not, it's, I should add them 100. That's amazing. Now you're throwing like 100 kilometers an hour or the disc is actually traveling 100 kilometers an hour. Yeah. Then we take the big ship here, really, really big warship. Then you have your trailer on that ship mm. and then you have yourself. And now the ship is traveling 50 kilometers an hour. The trailer is also moving 50 kilometers an hour on, on deck. How fast is the disc going? I have myself, I have a trailer. Yes. I have the warship. Yes. Who's paying for this operation? 150. This is actually just how you can actually imagine how the, the throwing motion is built up. A lot of people are talking about, okay, you have to have a run up, you have to, you know, whatever, shoulders, hips, but nobody really explains why. So we talked about you, the trailer and the ship. Yeah. That's kind of three forces. So let's start with the ship. So this is the kind of, you're running up and you're, you know, uh, planting your last foot in the ground and that will cause a stop and you will kind of have that motion. This is kind of the, the same force as the ship. Okay. Then you're turning your shoulders and your hips like a spring. You're yeah. twisting them. Yeah. So you're adding the, the trailer on top of that motion. And then you have yourself, which is pulling the disc. The arm. The arm. Or the, yeah. yeah. Those three should be joined together in the perfect timing. But for example, if the boat is traveling like in 20 uh, kilometers an hour and then and the others go like 50, then you mm. will not reach 150, of course. So most people that can't throw far are somehow lacking one of the three forces or is lacking all over so that actually uh, the run up is too slow, mm -hmm. for example, or they are turning away too much. It's, it's very common and easy to have just two out of three. Yeah. It's the third one that should be in the perfect timing. It's very difficult to, you know, achieve. Gotta catch them all. Yes. 